Today I'm going to be walking around the Bangor City Forest, also known as the Roland F. Perry City Forest. The Bangor City Forest is a place where people go to get exercise, enjoy the wilderness year-round in the Bangor area. It is the month of November, which in Maine is not the prettiest of months, but still really nice in here. We've got a wide variety of trees, including a lot of evergreen trees, which makes it beautiful year-round, nice and green. We've got an angry squirrel here chirping at me. So today, in addition to walking around as many of the trails as I can fit in, I am going to be trying to find geocaches, which are essentially little boxes that are hidden throughout um, natural areas, but also public areas all over the world. And you find them with GPS coordinates. Once you find them, you sign the logbook, and you can also trade out little treasures if the geocache is large enough to contain treasures. Earlier, I picked out some treasures to swap out of some of the other caches I find. So I got a number of cool rocks. There's one. If I found a geocache, I would like to find a cool rock. I also got a little pin that says, all my friends are plants. We're back in the forest. Throughout the forest, there are these large main trails that are wide and gravel, great for cross-country skiing, biking, that sort of thing. And then branching off of these wide trails are narrower, more traditional walking trails. Let's see where the closest geocache is. I have an app called Geocaching. Um, it's connected to geocaching.com. And the Bangor City Forest is chock full of geocaches. It's like I'm getting close to one. So here's the thing about geocaching on camera. I have to be really careful because I don't want to give away where a geocache is because uh, that's the whole fun of it is trying to figure it out for yourself. So um, I'll show you a little bit here and there, but um, basically I get close to it, click on it, and it sh might give me a little clue. Well, if it's winter friendly, that means it's up off the ground. So it's probably in the trees somewhere. Is that it? It's very small. Um, I can fit it in my hand. I'm not going to show it to you. This is the log. It's just a rolled up piece of paper. And I do have a pen with me so I can put my name on the log and the date, and then I can log it online. And then um, make sure to put the lid back on tight, put it back exactly where I found it, and continue on my way. Do I look like a crazy person in the woods? Yes, I do. And I'm talking to myself. While this forest is in the middle of the city, or it's actually on the corner of the city of Bangor, um, it's really a great wilderness spot because it's such a big chunk of conserved land. There's conserved land around this. So people have reported seeing in here moose, the rare bear, porcupines all the time, deer, a lot of deer, snowshoe hare. The Bangor City Forest is also home to the Ornobog Boardwalk, which is a very popular hiking trail, walking trail. It actually starts in Bangor and crosses over to Orno. It is a natural landmark. It's a wheelchair accessible boardwalk. It's about a mile long. It makes a big loop out in an open bog, a place you wouldn't otherwise be able to go because you'd sink into the peat and water. So really cool. Um, brings you out to a habitat you might never see otherwise. But it's really uh, its own thing. And so I won't be heading there today. I'll be sticking to the forest. All right, now we're at D. Good Lord, D's over here. We got moose trail, raccoon trail, lynx, owl, skunk. There's a geocache near me called Bangor City Forest Lynx Trail. All right, I can't find it. Um, this is not the first time I've not been able to find a geocache. I would search longer if I had more time, but the sun is setting so early right now. So I'm gonna keep going and see if I can find a bigger geocache to show you what a larger one looks like. All right, we're gonna try to find the main hop. I found it. All right, first of all, we have the log book, and then we have some prizes, which they're not really prizes because you have to swap out something. So you have to bring stuff with you in your geocache if you want to take one of these things home. <laughs> a rubber ducky. Uh, it's a mummy rubber ducky. We've got a really cool little craft. A little toy soldier. A light bulb. I don't think that this is a good thing to put in a geocache because it could break. Is it even a high efficiency light bulb? A little bicycle pin. Sharpen your pencil if you want. It's like a sinkable pool egg. Have you ever use these? They got little holes in them so the air comes out and then there's definitely a weight 
on the bottom of it. If you had a pool, this would be a good one. I'm gonna add this really cool rock. So if you come out and check out this really great geocache, not too tough to find, um, and I'll put this in it. Cool. I'm gonna sign the logbook, sign my online log, and get going. The sun is sinking. So I didn't even touch the west side of the forest. It kind of gives you an idea of just how big this place is. I forget the miles, but here are some miles <laughs> for trails. Here's the acreage of the forest. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.